Paula thing. Um, Malus gave a little update on her training and I wanted to do the same. Um, I currently uh, restarted the uh, Wender, Wender trainings plan but not the original um, uh, schedule from Jim Wendler so not the Wendler 531 but the Wendler 753 um, from a friend of mine uh, I'm gonna take bench press on Instagram it's bench plus live 83 I'm gonna link in below if you're interested he's a super strong guy from Texas um, is sickening. Um, yeah, why did I start this program? Um, after the SPD Cup, I thought like, okay, it's, it would be better to take a little time off the heavy weights. Um, I want I want to build a bigger frame for 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 powerlifting or and or for strength in general. Um, um, but still want to lift remotely heavy, so. Uh, and, and, and I make good, good uh, results with the, with the Wendler system. So um, when I th uh, saw that uh, Jerry made this uh, Wendler 753, I was really excited about it and asked him if he would share the sheet with me that you see here. Um, yeah, and so um, when I got it, I. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I got really excited about it, and uh, this is exactly what I what I want right now. Um, basically, it's um, uh, I want to avoid injuries, and um, yeah, as I said, build a bigger frame, gain gain some more muscle, and um, yeah, do more, a little more high rep and uh, lower percentages. Just like the original 531, all of the Wender 753 is also built up in a, a four week cycle. So in the first week you have reps of seven, and in the second week you have reps of five, and in the third week you have uh, the first set of uh, seven reps, of, uh, second set of five, and then um, yeah, you have three reps uh, left. Um, so far I'm on the second cycle now and I'm really really gaining uh, strength uh, right now um, but first thing things first uh, as you can see on the sheet um, you have three warm-up sets then three uh, three three working sets uh, with the last one being um, an uh, MRAP set, set so depending on what you, what week you're in um, you have in the first week you have seven plus sets, so seven is the minimum rep range, and then you go apeshit. Um, what I can say is it's very very brutal, especially on squat. Um, in the first week and also in the second week, I got uh, 14 reps with 145 kilograms in squats on the seven plus set, and afterwards I just wanted to crawl into a hole and die. Um, so, yeah, this it's ex excruciating. Um, and after the, the, the MRAP set, you have uh, Joker sets. So, you increase the weight by 3%, and uh, you go as, um, as long as you can hit the prescribed numbers. So, in the first week, seven, 7 reps, in the second week, uh, 5 reps, and in the last week, uh, 3 reps. Um, and in the fourth week, um, you take a deload. Um, usually, I'm not a huge fan of deloads, but with this training program, uh, was the first time that I uh, actually did one. Um, I took one day off before, then did a lower body deload, and uh, had a second day of uh, upper body deload. The focus in this off season. Uh, is to build a bigger bench therefore I put my focus especially with the joke set on uh, overhead press and on bench press because I think it's one thing to get gain strength on, on squats and on, on deadlift I think this is this is uh, powerlifting 101 everybody can get remotely strong if you stay focused on getting strong there but I think on bench press if you have a high uh, a high bench press 
I think this is the, the, the true, true sign of, of strength. And I want that. I want at least, um, you know, 140 kilograms by, uh, yeah, the next three till four months. And I set an overall goal of 160 kilograms on bench. Um, so I have about 30 kilograms to go. And um, this is why I do more jog sets on overhead press and on bench press uh, and take it a little easier on deadlift and squats because I know my deadlift and my squat are strong. My bench is uh, in uh, relation is rather weak, so this is what I focus on. Um, after the main lift, I do a variation of the main lift uh, for five sets of ten at 50% of my one rep max. No, not my one rep maximum, but my one TM, so my training maximum, which is actually 90% of my one rep maximum. Um, so I can hit that in, in my sleep. Um, um, for squats, for example, uh, for overhead press, uh, for example, I do uh, military press uh, uh, seated with dumbbells. Um, for squats, I do high bar squats uh, or Hexsmith squats. For bench press, I usually do uh, close grip or, uh, bench press or a dumbbell bench press. And for deadlifts, I usually do stiff leg deadlifts or uh, conventional deadlifts. Um, I decided against switching to conventional um, because my form in sumo is actually not that bad and I can I, I rather focus on something that I'm good at than start as something all over what I suck at and comp uh, I have two training cycles uh, completed now um, and I can say the deadlifts with conventionals compared, uh, compared with the same reps uh, on sumo, uh, they really just look awful. And uh, my sumo is actually decent, so I'm sticking to that and rather work on it uh, and improve my technique there than start all over with the, with the conventionals. Um, main exercises I usually do, uh, depending on what day it is, um, I have two days where I focus on my core and uh, my lats and uh, on my leg day, so after squats and uh, high, uh, the variation of the squats, I usually work out on my hamstrings and my, uh, or adductors and abductors because I want to get yeah a little more, more stability there. Uh, not really gain, uh, also gain strength, of course, but uh, this is not the main focus in this off season. Um, and uh, I have one day, uh, usually after overhead press, where I focus on, on triceps and uh, biceps because, you know, let's face it, uh, you gotta want you you kind of want to look like you lift. So uh, this is why biceps. I end every session from now on with foam rolling because a friend of mine um, told me to improve my my range of motion and get rid of some some stiff stiffness in my hamstring. Uh, I also was at the doctor for uh, saw a doctor for that, and he told me it's fine for now. Just do some cardio for for for, for warm up and then start stretch, do your strength training, training and. Uh, afterwards, if you do the foam rolling, it's it's good. But stretching is also good. But um, I really trust my, my, my friend there, who's who's a, a physician and knows his his, his field. Um, and it's painful in the beginning, but once you get started, you break out of that vicious circus that you never foam roll because it hurts. And um, this is why you don't foam roll. And this is because it hurts. And once you break out of it, uh, it also hurts but it hurts differently. Also, uh, also I, I think my power lifting may uh, benefit from, from the endurance training uh, in American football, especially in the off season, there is uh, uh, actually pretty good. I'm not gonna do like something cardio-ish, um, except for my warm up. But um, I think on the one hand, I can put my strength that I have 
uh, to a good use and um, I think especially in American football um, if you're strong and you I kind of know what I'm doing um, this is a good combination and on the other hand my the endurance strength from American football my, may improve my overall fitness and therefore bring benefits to my powerlifting. Um, coming to powerlifting meets, uh, I decided to take a half a year break from any kind of meets um, and start in a different federation next year um, uh, for multiple reasons. Um, on the one hand, I decided to take that break for yeah, building a bit of frame and getting fit in, in general have time to work on my technique. In addition to my powerlifting, I decided to get back into American football. Uh, I used to play American football uh, when I was 14 until the age of 18 and I was actually pretty good at it. Um, and with uh, the, even the German television showing uh, the NFL season, I really, really got hyped for it and I want to be part of a team again. And uh, last week I was at the team meeting of uh, the local football uh, club here and they really, yeah, they, they wanted me as, uh, as a player and so I'm gonna um, hey, <laughs> um, start football again and play tight end. Yeah, it's a camera. Get over it, dude. I decided to switch federations um, to the GPU, so German Powerlifting Union, um, mainly because of my cousin who competes there for multiple years now, I think for six, seven years, uh, and he has an insanely high bench press um, of oh, 200 kilos or something. Um, and he's also uh, uh, my role model in this sport in general. He has uh, a 260 kilogram squat and uh, I think a 280 deadlift. Um, but mainly his bench is just admirable. And uh, we, we, we thought as long as we do this sport together, we should do it actually on the platform. And so in April, that's the German championship of the GPU. And uh, depending on how that girl goes, I, and I even qualify for something bigger, um, I might even compete in the European um, Championship, and depending on how that goes in the World Championship, but we take it easy there. First the German Championship, depending on how that goes. Um, the IPF is not off charts, um, if there are any IPF meets that are have a good schedule, I'll do that too. But main, focus next year should, should be the GPU and um, the American football scene. Uh, um, nutrition, uh, yeah, uh, I had a vacation and loosely tracked there and um, uh, I, I let, let go a little bit of, of, uh, of the strict tracking and um, I just made sure to hit my protein, my, my fiber and um, besides that, I, I was like, fuck it. Um, eat whatever, whatever the damn hell you want. And um, so currently my weight is around one or two kilograms, um, what is, which is okay for a guy of my height. Uh, I'm one meter 93, uh, so six foot four for you know, Americans. Um, and as long as I'm not competing, um, I don't see a reason to diet and uh, the GPU has different weight classes uh, they start at 90 kilos uh, three, two, till 100 kilos and then 100 till 110 so that's something else um, I want to compete there on the below 100 kilogram uh, class but this is not before April so why diet now um, I rather take a shortcut um, six weeks before the meet uh, lowering my my intake to 2,500 calories a day um, and have the same result then torture myself all year now and uh, be strict uh, stricter than, than ever and uh, why should I do that? So I hope you all you like this video and the little update on my uh, training 
and I'm gonna keep you updated on especially on the football part because I'm really excited for this and I really want to see how, how this is going um, but also on the powerlifting uh, part um, because this is what I burn for and um, I really I, 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 I keep loving it and uh, yeah that's it I hope you liked it and uh, yeah see you next time <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen